Hey guys, so I am off to see my favourite band, Electric Mary, play at the SP tonight in Melbourne, um, in St Kilda, and I thought I would do a quick, like, get ready with me style tutorial. So this is the look that I'm rocking to go see Electric Mary, and if you want to know how to achieve this, then just keep watching. You so here is my fresh face and here is my messy hair. This is a result of sleeping with braids in while my hair is wet. Also, if you're noticing that my hair is going slightly orange, that is because I went swimming and this is much better than uh, what it used to look like. It was literally, I had a, I had like yellow, like an ombre from the chlorine. Looked all right, I'm not gonna lie. First up, I'm gonna pull my hair out of my face. I don't really know what look I'm going for. This is going to be just a, an experiment. I don't even know what I'm wearing. Anyway, I'm going to moisturize my face. I'm using Palmer's Cocoa Butter. Um, this is usually like an, a body thing, but you know what? Moisturizer isn't like limited to where you can stick it. Your face is part of your body. I don't care what anyone says. It all does the same shit. My hands are cold, so this is not a fun time. It smells so good. I feel like I'm in a chocolate factory. Another part of my prepping ritual is putting some Vaseline on my lips so that all the uh, hard crusty skin can soften up in time for when I want to exfoliate. It's really good to sleep in Vaseline as well because you wake up and your lips will be like a baby's butt. First step, what are we going to do? I'm going to use a primer by Inglot. This is my favourite primer for my face. It is the under makeup base. I also squeezed some into a little tub so I could have for travel reasons. I still don't know what I'm going for. I'm just going to do my my regular routine up until eyeshadows and then we'll figure that out. <laughs> so I'm going to take my foundations and my routine, as you've probably seen in my last video, is that I take a Rimmel Match Perfection uh, for like the highlights of my face and then I take this AMC Inglot in LW500 uh, for the contours of my face also eliminates redness so yeah I don't know why it is it's just it's just a thing I like it I like blending more than one foundation together just use my fingers I don't really care I don't really care then taking the buffing brush and this is the real techniques buffing brush um, perfect for all your buffing needs and I just pat like this is how you buff there's no wiping it's just patting you like really push the foundation into your skin. I do weird things like put my tongue. <laughs> Helps me get into that little dimple. Put a little bit on the brush. Find the contours. So under the cheekbone is where I like to put it. Don't go too cray because you can blend and then reapply. But you know it's harder to take it off. And then work it in. Get it in your hairline. I don't know if you can see that, but it's very much slimmer than what my face normally is like. When you're happy with how that's all blended, I'm just going to take my concealer. This is Maybelline Everfresh in Light Beige or something. I just put that on the dark circle bit, not like all the way under the eye, but just, you know, inner corner, dark circle area. Blend with the fingers and pat. Use my ring finger because that's the most gentle finger. And then I like to set all of this. I use a founder foundation. Founder foundation. I use a powder foundation. Uh, this one's by Gorgeous. And the one PP. Pretty light, and it's pretty like the coverage is also quite light, which I like. I've already put two foundations on and a primer, and I don't want my face to be too cakey. So this is literally just to set everything. Contour brush. I need to get like a big fluffy brush so I can use this better. Pat 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 pat. Especially in the um, contoury areas because it just looks nice, I don't know, it just gives a warmth to the skin. You can brush it across the cheeks, down the nose, so yeah. I think everything's set, probably is. And because I haven't decided what the hell I'm doing <laughs> with my eyes yet, I am going to just take uh, my accent brush, I'm not making the joke, and an Inglot palette that I got from my friend Lauren aka Ebony Mae's makeup and I'm going to mix these two to create my eyebrow color. Very thin tip so you can create like fake hairs if that makes sense. I got this brush for free I don't know what it is but I use it to um, 
brush my brows up and down and fill in all the gaps. Look at that, that's such attractiveness. My aim is usually to like, I put the brush uh, and work out <laughs> where they should be sitting and try and get them even because most people uh, are not symmetrical. In fact, no one is symmetrical and my eyebrows are definitely not. People say they're meant to be sisters, not twins. So don't stress too much if they're not too perfect. Now this is a mascara from Astralis and you can tell that I've used it on my brows a lot because it's become like a black. This used to be clear and now it's black. <laughs> so it's just picked up eyeshadow over time and become this color. I've decided I'm gonna try a, like a gray smoky eye. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna do one eye and go back. Let's see what happens. Okay, so this is what I've done so far. Let's see if I can replicate it on this side to show you guys. First up, I took this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the color Zero, which is black. I hope that this is in focus because then I just created like a little wing shape and drew all over my lid. Look how shit and messy that is. That's the intention. This is a crappy brush that I don't mind getting gross and murky. So I just started smudging it all and creating like um, a wing shape base to stick all that eyeshadows to. Now, what I like to do is create the shape of where all the dark bits of eyeshadow will go and then kind of blend in the crease area so that it's a gradient rather than like a big bang. Now obviously we're gonna get all this crap under here and we can wipe that away. Um, because I didn't know what I was doing, I would probably do my foundation last if I was to do a smoky eye. But I decided to do a smoky eye and I'd already done my foundation and blah blah blah. I will clean it up later. Anyway, so the next up, I took this sleek palette which is the Ultra Matte Starks palette from my last tutorial. I took this grey colour here and I'll put the name on screen in the description because I don't actually know what it is. So I take that on a flat shadow brush. This one's the 9S by Inglot. I pick up a lot of colour, tap it off a little bit, and then I literally press it in. And this is going all over the eyelid. Pressing, just pressing, not wiping, like pushing the colour in. Because it helps eliminate fallout, especially when you've done your foundation first. I haven't planned ahead like I have. And what you can do is take this under the eye. Then I take this brush by Real Techniques. It's the Deluxe Crease Brush, which is perfect because we're gonna use it in our crease area. Back to the Sleek palette and I'm taking the brown color, also name on screen. Put some of that on my brush, tap it off, and then just work that into the crease. And this will create a, like a blend color, like a transition color. If there's too much on your brush, just tap it off because you don't want to overdo it. And then just clean your brush a bit and just blend it out. Next to the grey bit, I add some brown. MAC 217 blending brush, and I've got this pigment here by Inglot. It's a sample pot that um, Lauren Ebony May's makeup gave me to try. It is in the colour 80. It's a really nice sort of shimmery browny grey colour. I can't explain it, it's kind of got these flecks of, even got some pink in there. And I'm going to put that in the inner corner sort of work it up and in towards the uh, the inner third of the eye. It's just to give it a bit more um, depth and dimension and also because I have uh, like small eyes that I like to try and make the inner corner brighter than the rest of the eye so that my eyes don't look so round and small and take a little bit and pop that under the eye here. So I'm just checking if my Blending is even. Is it even? I don't even, it can't even. Can it even? I don't even know. And then what I'm doing is I'm going back to the Sleek palette and I'm grabbing the a mix of the white and the beigey color to create a highlight and then I'm coming in with an angle brush. This is a bit of a fluffy angle brush and I'm just highlighting under the brow area. I'm also gonna highlight the inner corner like so that is my eyeshadow, so I'm gonna pop some eyeliner on now. I'm taking the usual Inglot, uh, what do you call it, gel liner in uh, 77, which is the black one, with Inglot Duraline. I pop a little drop into that to help it um, make it easier to work with. And then I kind of wipe off any excess into the lid, and I also use that to flatten my eyeliner brush so it's like a, almost like a little straight edge brush. I'm gonna follow this bit under here. and out towards the end of my eyebrow. 
and I'm going to meet that end and come back in. I really want to thin it out before I get to where my pup my iris begins because of the shape of my eye, I want to elongate it. And if I put really dark eyeliner in this area, you're going to get rounder eyes and I'm all about the fleek. So I'm going to get a little angled brush and I'm going to find the blackest black that I have on me at the moment and push some of that eyeshadow into the eyeliner so it doesn't transfer onto my eyelids because my hooded eyelids I sometimes will find that any eyeliner I put on, this is not anything to do with the product, it's just my eye shape, this bit will actually come down and it'll get like black marks on it. I'm gonna contour my face and I'm gonna come back and do my mascara last just so I don't get like powder and stuff all in my eyelashes when I want them to be nice and black. This is a good time to come uh, in with your concealer and just tidy up anything. So I'm just gonna grab my contour brush and I'm gonna grab this color here, it's the sort of taupey brownie, I don't know, it's the cool toned brownie colour. So I'm just going to work that in all the way up to my ears, including my ears, kind of work it down and just keep blending. I don't like it to be noticeable that I've got like this blob of contour too much, like I don't know, I don't know, it's just me. Do it in my temples. Down the sides of my nose, just to slim it out a little bit more. The thing with me and my skin type is that I don't like um, a full coverage foundation. I like my freckles to be seen. I like, you know, any sort of bumps and things like that. I don't mind them being seen. As long as I, you know, draw the attention elsewhere, my little bumps and blemishes and stuff, I kind of like that they're a part of my skin, especially my freckles. I don't want to cover them up. They're a part of me. I'm not telling anyone off for wanting to cover those things. I was just expressing how I feel about my face. Gorgeous Cosmetics Superstar Liquid Shimmer Stuff. Just dab it along my cheekbones. I might just quickly buff that in. And that's just for a little bit of a glue. With the curling of the lashes, some people like just do it once and I like to curl like the very base, then the middle of the lash, then the tip of the lash. My mascara application has a little like process. I kind of squint my eye into the uh, brush. I like blink into it if that makes sense. As well as turn the brush towards my lashes so that it picks them up and pulls them up and coats them at the same time. I'm just going to go back in with my um, black eyeliner pencil and pop that on the top waterline because I'm noticing it poke through. I'm yet to acquire a nude pencil and I really want to stick a nude pencil in there. I don't have one. So, I mean, I can do white. White might be a bit too much though. Let's have a look. It kind of opens it up. Honestly, if I could, I'd put a nude in here. You know the drill. <laughs> With the Vaseline still on, I just... It's like a gentle exfoliation. So then I take tissue and make sure my lips are dry. I don't know if that was recording anything, but um, I've applied two coats and just correcting the shape. It's Maybelline 24 Hour Super Stay. This one is in the color Cream Caramel which is 611. I put on phase one and then you let it dry and then don't touch your lips together and then you take the gloss end it should absorb into the lips a little bit more so you're not so glossy but you shouldn't need to reapply that unless you eat really really greasy food now hair wise I have no idea what I'm gonna do I think I'm just gonna cry all, all faithful Turn that bad boy on. I've changed into the dress that I'm gonna be wearing. I'll probably add a choker or something like that, but I'm really cold. So I'm just gonna start clipping my hair up and I don't know, we'll see what happens. Let's, let's 
bit of mirror happening so I can actually see what happens. I'm all shaken and nervous because I literally, in the gap where I did my makeup and started my hair, uh, I did an interview on BBC One. We're talking about the Zombie Neighbours project that I'm involved with. You guys have probably seen on my Twitter and stuff. I've been posting about it. I'm going to actually do a video on this channel, like, about it properly. Um, because it's a very exciting opportunity for me where I got to be involved with the Australian TV show Neighbours and, you know, act and direct and learn things about makeup. Um, so... I'll do like a, maybe like a zombie makeup tutorial uh, based on what I learnt from that experience. Anyway, so I'm just going to tease all my hair because when you don't know what to do with your hair, teasing can't be wrong. Spray it. I'm using um, Schwarzkopf Silhouette hairspray. It's my favourite hairspray. I grew up with this hairspray. It's just, it's just cool. I like it. Anyway. I'm gonna take this piece of hair here because it looks really straight. The rest of my hair is kind of wavy and curly. I might just curl some of the straight bits. I'm also kind of rushing because if I don't, then I'm gonna be late. And I don't wanna be late. Let down a layer. When my hair's wavy like this, it is really, um, it's really annoying because it hurts. It tangles, gets tangled. And my fingers get tangled and it's just, it's just a tangled mess. Ow, that's my finger. It's okay, don't need it. That's my cowlick there. I'm just gonna fix my cowlick. I'm gonna tease the rest of it. Oh, and by the way, this comb is Brushwork Styling Bob Bristle Nylon PO151. And it's got ball bristles at the base and then like these plastic tips in the middle, which help pick up the hair. Air leg face with an Oakland booty. I'm gonna separate my fringe or my bang. And half them. Now I don't really have bangs anymore because I'm growing them out just to see what it will look like. Um, I do this a lot where I'm like, I'm gonna grow out my fringe. And then I get sick of it because it gets in my eyes and then I just cut it again. And so I'm gonna try not to do that this time. Same old trick for getting them to stay on the side is that I curl them outwards on the ends. Go in like a like a like a wave inwards and then I go from the opposite end and go outwards. That is my trick. Although they're too long for that now so I'm gonna have to just completely curl it. Like that. They're too long, man. They're too long. No, it doesn't look the same when your hair's not cut properly. And spray, and then pull down a little bit. Oh, come on. Yeah. Pull that forward. Give it the old twisted treatment. Curl it outward. Right, so this is the part of the hair that gives you the most um, volume and stuff, so what I'm going to do first is just make sure I've curled all the bits I want to curl before I go teasing them into place. I haven't been to the SB in so long either. The SB is like, like the rock music venue of Melbourne, I would say. Um, one of the many. There's quite a few actually. But like the SB just seems like you know, like the, the crowning jewel. Unclipping all the hair. I don't even know what it looked like. It's just a messy mess. See what I mean about this hairspray is that it holds but it doesn't make your hair too crusty. I like it, it's my faves. It's probably the only hairspray I've ever actually known though. <laughs> I grew up with it, my mum always used to use it, and my auntie, and... Get up in here. This needs... This needs some more. Oomph. Ha! 
I don't know, I think this is my hair for the night. This is as good as I can get it. Mm. Hair. And all its messy rock of glory. I've just gone in with the sleek makeup flick it eyeliner pen thing. And um, this is in dazzling black and I just popped in my signature star because I don't really like to go to gigs without wearing my star. I always feel awkward doing these things. Oh. <laughs> So that is the finished look. I hope you like it. It's just a messy kind of, you know, classier rock look. Um, I'm just going to add a whole bunch of bracelets and jewellery and some killer boots and go enjoy my favourite band, Electric Mary. I'll put information below um, as to how you can find Electric Mary. I hope you like this kind of video. It felt very, um, like, lengthy. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.